Hey folks, Tony here with TNT RVing. I was out earlier today replacing the toilet seat on Bell. We have a Dometic 310 toilet and it I actually replaced it with a wooden soft closed toilet seat. Found it on Amazon for a halfway decent price. I'll post the link in the description of that. But the reason I brought you out today is I ended up having an issue last year with our flush valve on our Dometic toilet. And our specific problem we had was it was leaking out of the end here. And I wanted to show you how easy it is to remove this, replace it if you need to, or sometimes you have to remove it and clean the screen because debris will get in there and restrict the flow of water. So there is, if you're not aware, a screen that's inside of this. And sometimes debris may work its way in here, plug it up, and you'll notice that the water flow going into the toilet is restricted. So I'm gonna bring you in a little closer and show you how easy it is to remove this and replace it. So come on in, let's take a look and see what we could get done. So the tools you'll need to do this is going to be a quarter inch socket, a stubby flathead screwdriver, and a pair of diagonal cutters. I should probably mention that before you do anything with removing any of these lines, especially that braided line, you're going to want to shut off your water to your trailer and then maybe even step on the foot flush, open up a tap and make sure you drain all the water out prior to removing any of these lines. Uh, also place a towel underneath to collect any water. Alrighty, so here's the back of the valve and the screw that you're gonna need to remove is this screw here and it takes a quarter inch socket to do it. As you can see, there's a flat head on there but it's really easier with a quarter inch socket. So let's get that out first. So with the screw removed, what you're going to want to do is press down on this tab and then at the same time, you're going to want to take and you're going to pull that kind of back to sneak that past there. It's kind of hard for me to do this holding this camera, but essentially you're going to push down, like I said, and you're going to slide that out. Look at that, getting it done and then pull this straight out. So let me do that. Let's see here. All right. And there you go. So that's how simple it is to remove that. And might be able to see it, but this one actually has two O-rings. Let's go back to the old one. I'm going to show you that. So here's the old valve. And as you can see, this has one O-ring right here. It also has a seal right here if you may or may not have noticed. The way this works is this part of the valve is under pressure. When you depress the pedal it actually lifts the seat off of here. The water flow will come through here, go up this and go around and circulate through the bowl and down the drain. One of the problems you may also notice is that when you lift your foot off the, the pedal there and it seals, sometimes this doesn't completely seal and water will still continually flow and fill up the bowl. That might be an indication that you're gonna need to replace this valve as well. So I'm gonna bring in a little closer to the, uh, the new installed valve. I wanted to show you the clamp that's on there and the reason for the diagonals is how I cut that clamp off of there and replace it with the, the worm gear clamp that comes with the new replacement valve. Here's a top view of the valve once again. And as you can see, these are the original factory style clamps and that was what was originally on here. So what you do with your diagonal cutters is simply just cut this part off and then you can peel the clamp right off. And then they give you this worm gear clamp to put back on there. So it's just as simple as that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. Alrighty. So to put it back in, 
you actually and when you're doing it you're gonna have these lines off of here I didn't feel like taking these off today because this is still winterized and I don't want the the mess so any rate all you're gonna do is you're gonna put this back in here and then it actually will just click into place so you do that and then what we're gonna do is put that screw back in here and that's how easy it is to put it back into place well folks there you have it that's how easy it is to replace the flush valve on your Dometic toilet I hope you found this video helpful and if you did we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe thanks for watching and as Tina would say we'll see you at the campground